The ACR 9000's part numbering is divided in five parts. 9000 identifies the model type. The product number is printed under the barcode label on the side of the controller as well as a serial number. P designates the communication type. Zero is serial only and uses a null modem cable for RS-232 and also has RS-45. P1 has serial, Ethernet, and USB. P2 is serial and the can open I.O and P3 includes everything, serial, Ethernet, USB, and expansion can open I.O. The U designates the number of axes. Both two and four axes have one auxiliary encoder input as well. The six and eight have two auxiliary encoder inputs. After U is the memory type, M for flash-based memory and B for battery-backed RAM. The end is zero for no option cards or one for analog inputs. The 9030's part numbering is similar to the 9000's, except it is only offered as P1 with Ethernet, USB, and serial communication, or P3 with a can open I.O. The number of axes refers to the hardware axis connectors, but the 9030 supports up to 16 axes. A U8 supports 8 axes of analog servo steppers or direct drive, as well as 8 axes of Ethernet power link drives. If you're only using some of the axes, you can still have a total of 16 axes. So if you're using 7 hardware axes, you can still have 9 EPO axes. The 9030 is only offered with battery backed RAM and no onboard analog inputs, but are available on the can open. 9040 has the P1 and P3 options. It supports 16 Ethernet power link axes, no hardware axes, thus U0 and has the battery backed RAM and no analog inputs. In comparison, the 9030 is a 9000 with the addition of two Ethernet power link ports. It's powered on 120 or 240 and supports up to eight hardware axes of servo or steppers. It has onboard inputs and outputs, a 24 volt enable input, and one or two auxiliary encoder ports. The 9040, on the other hand, is powered from 24 volts in addition to having an enable input. It supports 16 axes with the two EPL ports. Inputs and outputs would be on the EPL drives or the can open. For the Ethernet power link drives, the Ares EPL are offered currently in three power levels, 400 watts, 3 amps RMS, 800 watts, 4.5 amps, and 1300 watts, 6.3 amps. P designates Ethernet power link and E supports incremental quadrature encoders, Heidenhain absolute indat encoders, and Parker's smart encoder. The Ares PE drives are the same hardware as the Ares controller and can be converted vice versa with operating system downloads from ACR view. The Ares EPL drives are connected via Ethernet cable to a 9030 or 9040 controller and receive Excel velocity and position commands from the controller. The position servo loops are closed at the drive enabling highest bandwidths, but all tuning is saved in the controller configuration. The Ares PE drives accept 120 or 240 volts AC. They have two Ethernet power link ports with an onboard hub, so Ethernet cables can be daisy chained from controller to drive 1 to drive 2, etc. The Ares PE has a 25 pin D sub connector with seven discrete inputs, three of which are high speed inputs and also for discrete outputs. Parker offers the Compax 3S single axis drives with Ethernet power link. The single axis Compax 3S starts with an S in the part number and then the continuous current output. The SO25V2 and SO63V2 support single phase 120 or 240. The S100V2 is 10 amps and the S150V2 15 amps. Both take 243 phase. The Compax 3 also has high voltage units with a V4 designation, offered in 3.8, 7.5, 15, and 30 amp levels. The units can be run at 240, 400, or 480. After the power and voltage is the feedback designation with F10 for a resolver, F11 for Stegman hyperface absolute encoders, and F12 for incremental encoders. The F12 also supports Heidenhain absolute encoders. The interface is I30 in the part number for EPL and T11 is the technology level. Similar to the Ares PE, the C3 is receiving set point position, XL, and velocity commands via Ethernet from the EPL controller and closed at the drive. M00 designates no additional I.O. 
At this time, the analog inputs and outputs on the X11 connector and the additional I.O. with the M12 option X22 connector is not part of the cyclic update of the EPL network, but can be accessed with the acyclic SDO read-write transfer. Parker also offers the Compaq's 3M drives with Ethernet PowerLink for multi-axis applications. The C3M amplifiers are powered from a power supply, shown here as the leftmost unit. The power supply can accept 240 to 480 volt three-phase and are offered in two sizes, 10 kilowatts, 15 amps continuous, as the MP10D6, and 20 kilowatts, 30 amps continuous, as the MP20D6. The C3M amplifiers range from 4 amps for the M050D6 to the M300D6 for 24 amps. The feedback interface technology level and additional I.O. are the same part numbering as the C3S units. The drive setup and hardware connections for the I.O. and EPL and feedback are the same. Units are addressed with the dip switch bank. The amplifiers come with a cable that daisy chains the units together on the top allowing the user to connect via USB to the power supply unit and configure all the amplifiers and save their configuration in one file with the C3 Parker Integrated Engineering Tool software. The PIET software allows users to add multiple amplifiers into each project file, but then each amplifier is configured with the C3 Servo Manager software, which is encapsulated in the PIET. So each amp is set up the same as the C3S except the PIET allows one file for the entire machine. For users with applications needing even higher current, the Compax 3H is our high-powered amplifiers. The C3H has four current levels, HO50V4 for 50 amps, HO90V4 for 90 amps. There is also 125 amps and 155 amp units. These units take 400 to 480 volt AC three-phase, but not 240. The feedback options are the same as the C3S and C3M with I30 T11 M00 for a standard EPL unit. The motor and feedback connectors and incoming AC voltage come through the bottom of the C3H. There's a serial port under there, but since in an installation it wouldn't be easy or safe to try to connect a serial cable right next to high power AC cables. The units come with the serial jumpered and allows users to connect via a phone jack under the front cover. The C3H ships with a phone jack to serial adapter so you can use your standard serial cable to connect to the adapter. The Compax 3 Ethernet power link is based on the worldwide Compax 3 platform. The C3S single axis and C3M multi axis platforms have both safe standstill and safe torque off implemented allowing users to use 24 volt DC to completely remove power from the amplifier motor circuitry rather than having to cut AC power. This can easily be incorporated into the machine safety. The C3 ranges from 2.5 amps to 155 amps. The I30 EPL units come with two Ethernet ports as a built-in hub, allowing multiple units to be daisy-chained together to the ACR EPL controllers. The T11 has eight onboard inputs and four discrete outputs. The C3 Servo Manager and Parker Integrated Engineering Tool makes configuring quick and easy with Windows-based menu-driven setup. Auto-tuning with load inertia detection shortens machine startup.